Hi, I'm Dave Clements, Head of Design at Novoda. Hi, my name is David Gonzalez, and I'm Technical Product Owner at Novoda. And Novoda is a software development house uh, specialized on Android. And we are based in London, Berlin, and very, very soon in New York. So we're going to show today how we use paper wireframing to build native prototypes of our apps. So initially, we start off with uh, an idea, which we'll discuss with the client, uh, go through uh, personas, stories, etc., break down the feature list, and uh, begin drawing. Uh, we work in sketchbooks, mm -hmm. um, keeping it really simple, really fast, uh, so we can iterate through those quickly um, and build up uh, user journeys with uh, those images, uh, which we can then send to the client uh, and have discussions over those. Okay, so um, start with uh, just drawing a, a simple screen. Let's say I'm doing a phone layout, and there's a system bar and a nav bar here. Um, and uh, yeah, just start literally scribbling down basic information. Um, do some tabs here, and we've got uh, I don't know a area here with an image in, and maybe that's a card with some bits here. It's literally as simple as this. This seems really rough. Uh, not time wasting, um, and I might just add the occasional bit here and there of uh, sort of. It's these uh, sort of brush pens to give a bit of depth so the client knows what's going where in terms of the sort of the hierarchy, the layout. Okay, from there we take the drawings that we've created, um, cut them out, and uh, pop them on a table. And uh, we, uh, as a group, sit down with designers, developers, etc., and just move things around, move move screens around, uh, overlay parts of uh, screens to basically come up with user journeys that uh, we feel are good enough to show to the client. And there we send them along and uh, wait for feedback. Right, so we've got these uh, slices yeah. we've cut out, these pages, the screens, whatever you want to call them. Um, and we then think, all right, we need to create a user journey. So first yeah, screen. We have the first, that's the first screen, here. right? We might have a navigation draw. We know that's yeah. going to slide in. Out. So for the moment, we'll hold that back. Do you think that's nice? Yeah, it looks nice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. I like Um and where are we going from here? Scroll along to this. here. This is showing that we can swipe up and the title disappears, the tabs lock. Uh, moving on, we'll this is my click first. into. Yes. Let's just say that one. This is actually not important for the moment where we go, but the point is we're showing this user journey. So then we may say, okay, well, should we tap this area, we get this pop up. Once we've laid these out and we've decided, okay, we don't need these, but this is our user journey, we can simply photograph that. Uh, and then we'll upload that to, uh, say, Basecamp or Jira, and uh, client can take it from there. And then from there, we may develop further, create more uh, user logic flows, etc. But this is the uh, the basic. So the third phase, we got to build a prototype. So we get all the designs and all these assets that we've been cutting out. We'll put them on a native app. Uh, so we will build an actual app that the client will use, and he will use them, they will play with it, and they will decide internally if they like it or not. And then if they don't, we just do it again. Yeah, and now what we would do is once we have these images based on Basecamp or on Jira, we'll put this on a very simple layout. Here we have a frame layout. Um, the only thing we do is just inflate it and get some stuff like the images and the pictures and the text from the headline and very easily just put them here. And you, as you can see, you can have a very quick image of how it's going to look like on, on the app. So now the f this is what we're seeing here is the first screen of, of the app in this case, and this is a very simple login and, and login activity. And in this case, as you can see, it's just very simple layout, which is showing frame layouts of buttons. Every single one has the listener set, and then it's just a very simple sketchy UI. So in this case, when we click on the login screen, on the login button, we will go to the list of articles that we just saw before. And what we're trying to do is here is when the user clicks one of the items on the list, it will go to the article. And the article is just a very simple fragment with a very simple layout when they can just see images and text. And as you can see in this case, it's just a scroll view with a linear layout and two items, which are a frame layout, which is the image and the text. And with this, we've pretty much built the whole UI for now. So the only thing we need to do is just build the project, compile it, and use the APK. So what this allows us is to have a very fast interaction with the client and very fast iterations on the process. And this will make us save a lot of time of developing and drawing things. And that will be a much better outcome for the project.